Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're out here by our greenhouse. Guys, the disease has hit the spaghetti squash and it's time to harvest. It's a little earlier than what I wanted to do, but the powdery mildew hit and is taking them out. And this intense sun that we have now is going to ruin the squash if I don't go ahead and get them out of here. Now, there's a lot of little green ones still on here. We'll probably just leave them for right now. But I'm mainly focusing on the ones that are as close to being ready as possible because guys, this is the best spaghetti squash crop I've ever had, so I don't want to lose these. These were from Hall's Tool. Uh, they're, they're just, they're the miniature ones. And guys, I am tickled pink to be able to harvest these. We're gonna see today just how they look. So this is our first one. <laughs> look at this that. This is the first one here. I'm gonna check and see. My fingernails can cut it. We need to just let them cure, I guess. Yeah. This look. sun's going to ruin it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. Some of a really hard stem. Like this one? We had a real hard stem. When you cut these, Cut the stem as long as you can get it. It's just like a pumpkin or anything else. The longer the stem, the longer the life of the squash. Okay guys, we've harvested our spaghetti squash that was close to being ready. There's still about 20 more in there that's not ready. Uh, we got close to, I think it's 54, 55 here, something like that. Never did I expect to have that many spaghetti squash. Okay, I planted five seeds, and out of five seeds so far, we've got 54, 55 here, something like that, and probably about 20 more out there that's questionable whether they'll make it. I know four or five of them will, but the rest of them I'm not sure about. The harvest from five seed is amazing. Uh, I never expected this. I figured we'd get 10, you know, something like that, maybe 15. But to have this many that we know are gonna probably be all right, and there's still some more in there that'll probably be all right, it's just amazing to me. Uh, and when you harvest, I always use snippers. Don't just break them off. Make a clean cut, long a stem as you can get. Uh, because if you break them off close to the squash, they just won't survive. Now they're just like anything else, they need to cure. We're gonna lay them out and let them cure in a cool place. Uh, we'll probably not eat one for a day or so, just to uh, give them a little bit of time to cure. And that way we wanna make sure we get the best taste out of them. We're gonna wipe them and clean them up good. And uh, guys, we're just gonna store them out of the sunlight in a dark place, keep them cool. I think that we'll, uh, I think we're going to enjoy them. Now, I've never had this type of squash before. I've had the regular spaghetti squash, the old big ones, but this is a, I'm calling it a miniature version we got from Hall's Tool, and it's just, uh, I call it a single serving size. That way, one person can eat a squash, probably by, you know, the bigger ones that me and one of the both will probably eat, but we're, we're anxiously waiting to get into one of them and see how the spaghetti is in them, how it matches or compares to other spaghetti squash we've had, the big long ones. Uh, Taste-wise, we haven't done that yet. We'll probably do a taste test on it. We'll probably show you how we cook it and stuff like that. So stay with us here at Deep South Homestead. Uh, uh, hit that notification button, if you will, because I can't tell you when we'll make the video. I don't know. We're just gonna let them cure for first and you want to make sure your fingernails can't cut into the hide on the outside of them. And these are still just a little bit tender, I'm going to call them. My, my fingernail won't quite dig into it, but I would like for it to be a little bit harder. So I'm going to let it go a little longer and let the stems completely dry before we do anything. Guys, I can't say enough about the seeds that I'm getting from Hall's Tool. They're... They're, they've been outstanding. 
I don't usually harp about a company, you know, that much. I mean, like Baker Creek, we have some of their seeds do okay, but most of them we have problems with. Uh, but Hoss Tool, and, it, and it's not because of who they are or anything like this, their seeds have just done good. Now, I don't know anything about where their seed come from. All I know is they are working here at Deep South Homestead. They're from our same zone area, so maybe that's what it is. I don't know, but regardless, we're having success here at Deep South Homestead. So, guys, like I said, stay with us and be looking for the video coming about us cutting these squash open, cooking them, tasting them, and seeing what they compare like to the other big spaghetti squash. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead. Three pounds. Wow. Three pounds of spaghetti. And it's a miniature one. Let's check. Size, you can't just go by size. For some of these, I can pick them up and tell they weigh more. Three pounds, right on the nose. 